here, my name is Lottie Smalley, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be top tips, I have, I think I have eight, to like organize your life and get your life together. This has been kind of requested just to do like some organizational type videos, so I thought I would just start with organizing your life, like on a day-to-day -day basis and how to kind of like get your life together in a sense, because I know that's something I talk about with my friends all the time, like, oh, I need to get my life together. I just posted an update video on Sunday, so if you haven't seen that, make sure to go watch it so that you know, like, what's going on in my life. I'm in my new dorm room right now, so if you want to know why I switched dorms, go check out that video. Without further ado, let's get started. Eight things here, and with each of them, I have a quote that I think kind of pertains to the task or the, um way to get your life together so first tip I have for getting your life together is to get up early now this honestly is not fun when you're in college especially because a lot of people have like 10 o'clock classes 11 o'clock and they don't really have to get up for a while um, I know I have a 1230 class and it just is like oh, I don't want to get up I'm just gonna lay in bed until like 10 or 11 and then I'll mosey on over there get some lunch and then go to my class or whatever but um, the quote that I have here is, early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Totally agree with that. Because, like, honestly, I don't do that much productive stuff after about 10 p.m. Like, usually that's my cutoff for, like, finishing homework and stuff. And then after that, I just, like, do stuff on my phone or watch Netflix and I stay up and it's stupid like I should just go to bed um, and then the other day I got up super early I get up at 7 um, for when I have my 8 a.m. classes and like it's just amazing how much you can get done in a day when you wake up early even if you don't have to if you make a habit of it just do what works for you like if you don't think you can get up at 7 then get up at 8 or 9 and get some stuff done but it's just amazing what all you can accomplish when you wake up early like go work out or work on homework or do your laundry or just like little tasks you need to do um, it's amazing that how much you can get done if you get up and get going and then how much free time you have later on in the day if you start your day like super productive number two is to meal prep lay out your outfits and pack your bag before bed um, and the quote here is you're a grown-up and you get to decide what behaviors change you this one for me is just all about like looking ahead so like I said I have a 8 a.m. class and I have to get up at 7 o'clock. So what I like to do is lay out my clothes. So easy to do before you go to bed and it makes your morning run so much smoother, especially if you're getting up earlier. So packing your bag is the easiest thing in the world. You just literally throw everything in there and then when you get up, you can just grab your bag and go. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to be like trying to remember everything when you just woke up. I really, really recommend doing that. So I think laying out your clothes is a really awesome tip because in the morning you don't want to get sidetracked for like 30 minutes picking out your outfit and then be running late for school or not have time to eat breakfast. So I just think this is such an easy thing you can do to make your morning run a lot smoother. And again, meal prep. So if you pack a lunch for school or for work or whatever, um, pack it the night before. If you can, do as much as you can the night before um, because it just makes it so much easier in the morning to just throw that in throw your lunchbox in your car or in your backpack or whatever and um, even just to write down in like a notebook what you what you plan on eating the next day so that you can be like okay yeah I was gonna eat this for breakfast let me just eat that and it helps you not like stray away if you know what you're gonna eat you're not gonna go get like chick-fil-a that is my second tip and I'll read the quote again you're a grown-up and you get to decide what behaviors change you okay number three is to read more slash feed your mind so um, the way I do this is I read a lot of current events articles on my phone like on the news app I love keeping up with what's going on in the country in our world I think it's really important to be aware of all the issues that are facing our nation if you're not into politics don't read that read like a good book an autobiography learn about something no matter what you're reading as long as you're reading something sometimes I don't really want to read the news anymore. I'm over it. I'm feeling cynical about what's going on and I will go and just read a fiction book instead or read I love girl boss. It's like a I wouldn't call it a self-help book. It's kind of just like how to be a badass kind of book. I'm kind of not practicing what I preach because I'm not the best about this but I think it is really important to always be giving your mind more things to think about and it also just expands your vocabulary so much when you read um, and just helps you become a better speaker and a better writer yourself. So the quote I have here is, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go, which is Dr. Seuss, which I love that quote. So um, I just think that 
any time that you're just like sitting around and you're scrolling through Instagram, be like, hey, let's go look at like a book I could download and read instead of just scrolling through explore, if that makes sense. Number four is to go for a walk. And the quote I have here is, all truly great thoughts are conceived while walking, which is Nietzsche, I think. Um, and I really agree with Nietzsche on that quote. I think that walks are so good for the soul. Like just going on even like a 20 minute walk can so clear your head and just make you feel so much fresher and like ready to tackle more things. Like I get a lot more motivated after a walk. Just getting a little bit of exercise in every day is so good for the soul and good for just your physical health. Even invite friends, like instead of going to get food, why don't you like go for a walk and catch up there? Like I think for getting your life together is suggesting to other people to come like on social things with you when you're not like going to eat. Like, hey, come to this football game with me, this basketball game, this, come on a walk, let's go to the gym, let's go roller skating, let's go bowling, like let's just do something active because like especially when you do it with friends you like don't even notice that you're doing it so. I'm sorry I'm like rambling, I'm so bad about rambling. Number five, we're halfway there, I have eight, so number five is to plan everything. So um, whether you like to plan things with a planner or a notebook or on your phone, just like plan things out. I love Google Calendar and then I also have like a paper planner so you don't miss a deadline or miss a meeting or whatever you have going on you don't forget about it um, writing it down is always going to help you because if you never write it down it's just like stuck back here in the back of your mind and it's hard to kind of clear that out to focus on things if you have so much going on back there be like I have to do this I have to do this do this so when something pops in your head just write it down um, which that is my next one which is number six write out your thoughts in a notebook so um, this is kind of going into journaling but I'm just writing everything you're thinking about down because once you write it down, it makes it so much easier to like stop like not being able to focus because this is something big for me. I have a lot of trouble focusing on things. Um, I will get distracted so easily. After I write things down, it makes it a lot easier for me to like think about one thing because I know that it's over here and I can go back to that if I need to. It's not like I have to keep remembering it. Um, so. My quote for this is, documenting little details of your everyday life becomes a celebration of who you are. So I love that. I like just writing like stream of consciousness pages in like my notebooks and journals just about like what I've been thinking that day or what I've been doing or um, just whatever I want to talk about. Just write everything down. I'm telling you guys, you'll thank yourself later. Seven is tidy, don't clean. So I do this every day. I tidy up my room like literally almost like every so often like it'll get messy and then I'll tidy it back up and then like something will get messed up and I'll put it back away like it, I never let my room get so messy that like it's a nightmare um, I let my closet get like that sometimes when I'm at home but here especially in a small space I never let that happen and you really shouldn't even if you have a lot of space just keep tidying up after yourself and you'll never have to do like a big clean um, if you keep like just throw away things you don't need and tidy up and have everything have a place then it just keeps your mind so much clearer and to be able to think and get things done when you don't have a mess around you and maybe you're someone who is like good with a mess and that's like the kind of space you need but I find that most people would agree that having a clean space means a clean mind and just getting things out of your way that you don't want to look at once a week I'll like wipe things down and like spray down my mirrors and like vacuum and all that good stuff but like when it comes to just tidying just keep cleaning up after yourself don't let things get to be so bad so that's number seven um, and the quote I have there is one way to organize your thoughts is to tidy up and number eight my last one is to make to-do lists so I live by to-do lists they I make them every day I'm not kidding every single day weekly to-do list and I make daily to-do lists again you can put these on post-its in your planner on your phone wherever suits you but um I love to-do lists. They are awesome. So I'll write like my morning to-do list and my afternoon to-do list. I find that that's um, less rigid than an hourly to-do list, but more rigid than just a daily. I really like having a morning and an evening kind of one, a.m. and p.m. So it's like this is all the things I'm trying to get done before lunch and this is all the things I'm trying to get done after lunch. So, um, and you can prioritize them. I just love to-do lists, you guys. It really helps me be productive throughout my day because I love checking things off. I feel like a lot of people relate to like getting that nice check you check off everything on your to-do list it's such a good feeling and it's so nice to just be able to relax after that and um, all of these tips that I've given you like will help you be able to get your to-do list done I think these are my top tips for getting your life together 
and organizing your life so that you can be successful in all aspects of your life whether your goals are you know fitness goals or um, work goals or academic goals I think that these tips can suit everyone and help everyone to get further in reaching those goals so I hope this video was helpful for you all um, a lot of you have been requesting a kind of how you organize your life video so this is kind of what I look at, I have it written down in my notebook here, and I kind of just reference it like weekly um, to remind myself of what is important and how to reach goals. So I hope you all, like I said, enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and leave me a comment down below with any of your tips for getting your life together or keeping your life organized because I love hearing everyone else's tips. I think that's it for today's video though, and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone, love ya!